Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Bobby with Last Swim Customs here, and we have an order from Epic Bait Molds to check out another unboxing slash review. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at the six cavity, 3.6 inch uh, open pore vert worm, which is going to be a super awesome mold in the lineup. I'll get you some better looks at it over here, but we'll just go through uh, everything else that you get in your package. You're going to get a couple of Epic Bait Mold stickers, super high quality stickers, and they look nice. You'll get a little bit of a personalized thank you card with your name wrote on it. Super nice touch by Epic there. And then you'll get a packing slip with all your uh, order information. But this primary focus is on this mold. This is going to be a super nice mold for drop shot or anything like that. It's going to be uh, super handy. I'm going to use it on drop shot just because I think nose hooking this thing will work beautifully on a drop shot. Um, but yeah, we're going to do some pours. I'm going to do one solid pour and then I'm going to attempt to do a different color tail uh, with a one color in the body basically. So it'll just have a different color tail pretty much. Um, I haven't done open pours in a while so I may be a little rusty. But I got a hot plate and all that, so we're going to heat this mold up. It's a little cool outside. When you're doing open pours, it's good to have a warm mold. So we're going to do that and just check out what we can get out of this mold. Okay, so this is going to be the first color that we're going to do. And I'm going to start with one cup of Plastisol. This is 242 medium. And I'm going to do two drops of the green pumpkin brown from Bait Plastics. We're going for a translucent color here. Um, nothing too crazy. I just want it to be a ground uh, brown green color. So there's a little bit of brown in it. And then I'm going to add one drop of watermelon and just see if that gets me what I'm looking for. That's pretty close. I think I may add one more drop of watermelon. So that'd be two drops of each. And we're just going to see where that puts us. Like I said, I want this to be pretty translucent. So yeah, that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to add one more drop of the green pumpkin brown. And try and brown it up a touch. A little more green than I was hoping for. A little bit of brown should help kind of remedy that. I'm actually going to add another drop of brown. I'll obviously give you guys a recipe on the screen. But I'm just kind of showing you what I'm going for here. Just kind of a natural color. So there's that. And now we're going to add some bigger black flake. I don't know what size this is. It's just generic black flake. And I'm going to add about half a teaspoon to start out with. And then we'll see, you know, where that puts us. So we're just going for a little bit of a natural color here. And I think that's going to be a real good start. And then when I do the tails, I'm going to do a purple. So I think that'll be kind of interesting. Yeah, that is plenty of flake, and that's what we're going to roll with. Okay, I'm sorry if you can hear the rain, but we're going to go for this anyways. So, here's our color. Let's hope I am a steady pour. Um, I don't really know how this is going to go since I haven't open poured in literally forever. Oh, that one's real messy. She's real messy. All right, we'll go on to the next one. Okay, apart from a couple of uh, issues from me not having a very steady hand, I think that all peel off and I think that'll be fine. So yeah, we'll check these out once they cool off and just see how that goes. As you can kind of see here, if you do get the, oh, you saw how much I over poured that. If you have any place that you have issues, you can just kind of take your finger and the mold's actually so uh, well machined that it's kind of sharp on the edges almost. Well, not sharp enough to really cut you, but 
sharp enough that you can pinch the plastic off. So, and then you can just grab a hold of it somewhere in here and just lift it out of there. And then you can see that is the flat side and that is the rounded side. So a little bit messy of a pour on my part, but the end result is just fine because you can just, like I said, grab it and then peel the rest of it off there. Okay. Light's trying to kill us here. Maybe. There we go. And yeah, they just turn out really good. So not a problem with that. And we're going to mix up some purple now. And I'm going to pour some purple tails. And we're going to see if we can do purple tails and maybe get a little more black flake in this to uh, kind of offset some of the green and just see how it turns out. But yeah, these turned out pretty good. They come out of the mold pretty easy. Uh, it is a good idea to preheat your mold on a, I just use a pancake griddle from uh, Walmart, but that will be more than sufficient to get the job done. So let's go ahead and mix up some purple and I'll give you a recipe for uh, that purple color as well. Okay, we're going to put some uh, really bright, this is Bait Plastics June Bug in here, and we're going to make this pretty much as bright as possible. Um, I just added a bunch of this. I'm not doing uh, very much, so I'm just doing a half a cup, and I'm going to just try to make a really bright purple. I don't have a particular recipe in mind for this color. Uh, I'm not going to try to replicate it. I just want a really bright purple. And then I'm going to add a tiny bit of black flake. So, let me grab a tiny bit of black flake here. This is Bait Plastics, uh, 0 0.015. And then I'm going to add just a little bit. I don't want to add a lot. I just want a little bit of something in there. Not a lot, but I want a real bright June bug here. And a really obnoxious June bug. Not like a typical June bug that you would normally see. I'm going for flow June bug. <laughs> As you can see, this is a pretty bright color. Uh, it doesn't even do it justice in this light. It's really bright. So I think that's what we're going to use for the tails. We got a second little pour in, too. This one's going to have a little bit more of the flake in it. Just a tad bit more. Nothing too crazy. I didn't want it to have a lot more, but I did want it to have a little bit. Just a little bit of texture there. Not much. I really like this green color. Very subtle. Really natural color. Really like that. Got some in the tail there. I like it. Go ahead and demold a few more of these. And then we're going to do some uh, purple tails, hopefully. Hopefully that goes smoothly. I really like how subtle these are. Very nice. Big fan. Okay, let's try to pour some tails. We got our purple color here, so let's try it. Got to be real easy. This is not an easy mold to pour. Everyone kind of warned me about it when I bought it. Okay. Try to do the same thing, try to be somewhat consistent. Okay, as you can see, we have the tails in here. I just pulled this off the hot plate for just a second. And we're going to go right back on the hot plate and pour the green, and then we're going to bond them together. Okay, let's overshoot these with some of this green color. I'm going to stir up this plate, get it coming to the surface real nice. And then we're just going to go straight to pouring. So, sorry if I get in your way, but I want to do a good job on this. So, we'll just do the best we can. Try not to overfill them. Okay. That one looks good. Just want to approach that full line nice and slow because you don't want to overfill on a mold like this. Okay. We'll go on to the next one. I am absolutely no open for master or anything like that so you guys will have to have some 
grace with me here because this is definitely not my forte. But I know people want to see open pours on the channel, and I am down to try it. Um, kind of learn in the process anyway. So just takes a lot of concentration, not an easy thing to film, to be honest with you. But hopefully these turn out good since this is my first open pour in a long time. Okay, we'll let those sit and then we're going to turn up the heat, kind of let them bond together. And then once that's done, I will do a little demo with you guys. Okay, my bad. I pulled a couple of these out of here before I uh, got the camera rolling. So here we go. Yeah, a little purple tail. Green body, not bad. Pull some more of these out of here. I am definitely not an open pour master, but uh, I've looked at some tips, kind of got it decent. I mean, I'm not great at this by any means, but hey, it is uh, definitely a learning process. I actually bought this mold to do single color pours just because I like the profile. I wish they had an injection mold for this, but they don't so at the time being this is the option but as you can see there is our two colors right here and then there is our single colors over here to the side which we got a bunch of so yeah there is a two color option and then there is the uh, single color so really not bad i really like this profile these are going to be super nice for a drop shot. Just uh, nose hook them there through the front. And I think these are going to look uh, really good. Can't wait to try this on a drop shot. So there's the single color. Pick these up. And there is the two color. So yeah, not bad. Not the greatest pour ever. Um, but like I said, my first pour in a while. So definitely something kind of cool to check out. So here's another look at kind of how these turned out. The tails, uh, I didn't get a perfect pour on them, but they look pretty decent. And then I'm pretty happy with the one color baits in the back. Um, as far as these two color versions go, I'm going to do some testing before I sell these just because I'm not 100% uh, confident in selling them yet. So I want to do some testing, do some fishing with them. So I'm actually going to throw this uh, two color version in my box. May sell the other one colors. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, as far as the two colors go, don't expect them on the site just yet. I want to have a little bit more testing with that for sure. But as you can see, the tails have the uh, ridge that sticks up, and they're obviously going to be flat on one side, being an open pour. But yeah, they turned out really nice. And I just want to do some more playing with the two color uh, before I do end up putting them on the site. But I'm going to fish with these and just see. But yeah, the one colors turned out good. I'm pretty pleased with them. So yeah, no complaints there. Okay, guys, so there you have it. I'm definitely not an expert in open pour by any means. That's actually the first time I've ever uh, even filmed an open pour, and that is the first time that I have poured this. I just kind of want to give you guys a genuine reaction of somebody who really has never open poured a worm. I've open poured a swim bait before, but it didn't really apply in the same way to this. So uh, with that being said, you kind of got a beginner's look at this. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm no expert at that, so definitely check this mold out. I would say it is probably a medium difficulty as far as open pours go, just from the opinions that I've gathered from everybody I've talked to. I don't have a lot to base it on except the swim bait mold that I've poured before. This was more difficult than the swim bait I poured, but the swim bait was bigger, so when you have a bigger opening, it is going to be a little bit easier uh, to aim your plastic in there. Uh, SDG Lurecraft recommended to try out a uh, heavy duty beaker. Make sure you get a glass one that can handle the temperature and that spout will probably make it a whole lot easier to be able to pour more accurately than a one cup measuring cup. But yeah, you know, I'm just kind of getting into it, deciding if I want to do a lot of open pours on the channel or not. So we're just going to have to play with it some more. But if you want to pick up this mold for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description to Epic Bait Molds where you can pick up this mold. Uh, I believe it was like $80. Don't quote me on that, but uh, just thereabouts what I think it costs. So uh, you might double check that. But I'll leave a link in the description if you want to pick up this mold for yourself. 
And then if you want to buy any baits from me, you can head on down to the description and there will be a link to my Etsy store. All that money gets to go back into this so that I can keep experimenting with stuff like this on the channel and making content for you guys that I hope you uh, are enjoying. I really do enjoy making this stuff for you guys, so I hope you do enjoy watching it. Uh, I really do love doing it. It's 11.46 p.m. on a Monday night and I am in here doing that. So just making time to do it when I can and I really do hope you guys uh, are enjoying the content. I appreciate you watching. Stick around for the thousand subscriber giveaway and you're going to have a chance to win some really awesome stuff. But until next time, I'll catch you in the next one.